In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the full moon that we're gonna have this Saturday, September 14th. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave, that way you'll never miss out on another video. I do upload three times a week, every single Friday is a free pick a card reading, and I have an announcement for you guys. So you guys know that every single Friday I do the free pick a card readings on my channel for you guys, but every single Monday I'm gonna be releasing a weekly prediction, it's like a weekly reading, a reading for the week where you get to see where the energy is, what blocks are coming, what is gonna be released, just what energies you need to align with, how you can work with it, how you can harness the energies in your favor. This reading is gonna be available on my Patreon. So if you guys become Patreons, I made it very, very affordable. If you guys do become a Patreon and join me over there for these weekly readings, um, I am gonna be able to give you guys more of my time. More of my time, more readings, more one-on-ones, more advice, more tricks and tips and all that stuff. And not only that, but I'm also working on creating more things over there for you guys where it's more intimate and you guys kind of were just more one-on-one -on -one. Um, and I'm also thinking about allowing you guys to have access to my personal journal like my intimate conversations with myself with God with my higher self spirit whatever um, I write in my journal about experiences I've had that day or that week. Just really real and raw insights from me personally. You guys get to see it. And I'm just hoping in some way it could give you guys hope and inspiration and just really help you guys and give you clarity and also not make you feel so alone. Because I get so many messages from you guys and I see that you um, are going through so much similar things than I am. So I want to be able to share with you guys how I'm dealing with things, how I perceive things, how I speak to my higher self, how I speak to the universe, and just really personal. We'll get really personal over there. But if you guys are interested in joining over there, um, go ahead and head to my Patreon and I'll leave the link down below. Let's get started with today's video, which is all about the full moon that we're having on September 14th, which is a Saturday. And this full moon is going to be in the sign of Pisces, and we'll get into that in the video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five things you need to know to be ready. This full moon is also known as the harvest moon, the corn moon, and the fruit moon. The first thing that you should know is that around this time of this full moon, we're gonna be feeling extra sensitive. This is a time where, how can I describe this to you? It's like you take off one set of glasses that you are viewing the world with, and then you're putting on a different set of glasses and you get this whole change of view, change of perspective when you look at your life, your situations, your relationships, your career, your home, like every aspect of your life, it's like you're seeing it through new eyes. You get to see it more clearly. You get to feel it deeper, which is really, really important because this, this is going to allow you to look at the relationships in your life, to look at the um, situations in your life, to look at different aspects of your life and see what you want and what you don't want. So you'll get to see your relationships in your life and then you'll get to pinpoint, okay, this, I don't want this in this relationship. Like I don't wanna feel this way. I don't wanna deal with this in a relationship. I don't want to um, feel low vibration. I don't want to feel like I can't trust this person. Like anything. It's basically you're going to be able to see and differentiate like what you want in your life, what you wanna keep and what you're just like, hell no, it's done, I'm done with it, it's over, like I don't want it in my life. It doesn't make me feel good, so it doesn't belong in my life. And this is like kind of the mentality that's coming with this full moon. You'll be able to see all of these things more clearly, and not only that, but with confidence. You'll know exactly what you want and what you do not want. The second thing you want to know about this full moon is that it is a time you'll get an itch to create. So because like all of this mental fog is releasing, it's like you get this clarity of what exactly you want your life to look like. So you'll have this itch to get started. Like one of the first things that you can do to get started, which is a really small step, but creates such a huge vibration, is to create vision boards or to create a um, journal with all, like, or even a list, a list of things you want to attract, a list of things you want to bring in. Just creating like a visual of the things you want in your life. This is like something that you'll get really inspired to do. Write out your goals, make plans for the future, create art, um, even cooking. Like you may even feel like 
cooking more because cooking is an art too. You're creating food and then you get to eat it. So it's just very creative energy that is coming in. You'll get a clear picture of what you want your life to look like and it's going to excite you. Pisces energy is very dreamy energy, very ethereal energy, um, like magical energy. And Pisces is very like go with the flow type of energy as well. The third thing that you may notice around the time of this full moon is that you have this higher, deeper connection with yourself with your spirit, with God, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, it's like you tap into that energy even stronger and deeper than before. You'll notice that your intuition becomes louder and stronger. You'll learn ways to trust your intuition more and you'll hear your intuition. Like a lot of the times we get this mental fogginess, doubts, fears, influences from other people, social media, whatever it is. But around this time, it's like all of that just quiets and you can listen to your own mind. This allows you to step into your own authenticity. It allows you to start living your life in your own truth. So it's you are gonna start to wanna live your life in your own way. Like I said, a lot of these past conditioning, influences from social media, influences from parents, religion, society, um, they're not gonna affect you as strong as they used to. It's like, you'll see it, you'll hear it, but it won't influence your decision making anymore. The fourth thing we should know about this full moon in Pisces is that our bodies are gonna get affected. Every full moon, certain areas of our body gets affected. And this Pisces full moon, be extra careful and be extra sensitive with your feet, your toes, and your third eye. These are going to be extra sensitive. So that means your third eye chakra, work on that, um, make it feel special. Third eye colors are like purples and greens. So wear more purples and greens, light more purple and green candles, purple and green crystals, and then the root chakra. This is very, very important. If our root chakra is off, we don't feel safe. We don't feel stable. We don't feel secure. Um, and so the colors of the root chakra is red. Surround yourself with red, red candles, red crystals, wear red pants, wear red underwear if you can, like really tap into your root chakra, take care of it. It'd be an amazing time for you to get pedicures, to get foot massages, um, do your nails on your toes, like just really pamper your feet area and also your third eye. Oh, and another thing you can do for the root chakra is you can walk barefoot, just connect more with Mother Earth. If you guys hear that, the garbage truck is just outside picking up the garbage. I'm so sorry if you guys hear that. The whole day they had to do it right now. I don't understand why that happened, but see, I think that's a message. I think that's a synchronicity message of like just garbage going out. Like this full moon is all about garbage going out. So there's a message in that I feel like. But anyways, yeah, like walk barefoot in sand, in your garden, just connect with the earth more. Go to the beach, go to the park, the forest, be around trees. Just relax your energy and connect more with mother earth. It will really, really activate and cleanse your root chakra. And the fifth thing that we should know about this full moon is that the feminine energy is going to be dominant. Let me explain. So every single person, whether you're male or female, has a feminine energy and a masculine energy within us. Um, and sometimes the feminine energy is more dominant or sometimes the masculine energy is more dominant or sometimes we merge the two and we're balanced. For me, it's always either one or the other. And when you become aware of which one you're in, you can control it. So when you're too much in your feminine aspect, you are very kind, too kind, kind of like a pushover, too kind, too caring, too gentle, always saying yes. If you're in your masculine aspect too much, you're too fiery, you're too feisty, you're too um, protective. If you can balance the two, that is amazing. Now, if you, now that you are aware of which energy is what and you're too much in one, you can kind of counteract it. Like, okay, wait, I feel like people are just kind of walking all over me. I'm too much in my feminine aspect. I need to bring out more of my masculine. So, so this, around this full moon time, because we are in the time of Pisces and Pisces is very like a watery, flowy type of energy, we're going to be tapping into our feminine aspect a lot more, which we are going to be noticing and I've been noticing a lot that I am a lot kinder, I'm a lot more gentle and soft, and a lot of things that used to get to me before that would irritate the shit out of me, 
I'm just kind of like pass, letting it pass by. Like it doesn't affect me. I even wonder like why did I even let it affect me to the extent that it did. So it's a very soft time. You'll notice yourself just kind of like eh, like just laid back chill vibes. Pisces is a sign that there are two fishes in it. So it's just basically you're going with the flow and it's calm energy, blissful and serene ethereal magical energy around this time so tap into it do your rituals do your manifestation techniques like really harness this energy in your favor this time so these are five things that you should know about the full moon that we're about to have on saturday by the way i want to share with you guys my new choker this is going to be up in my store very very soon it's a pyrite dainty choker necklace Pyrite is the stone of abundance. Pyrite is the stone of abundance in all aspects of your life. Finances, love, career, happiness, just everything. It is also known as fool's gold. It's a very, very powerful protective stone. And not only that, but how beautiful does it look? Like it looks like something that I should be wearing to a formal event or something. I feel like it's very, very fancy. But if you guys are interested, if it's not in my store yet, then just shoot me an email, I'll leave my email down below and just let me know that you want to pre-order it uh, because it will be released within the next few weeks. Also, don't forget, if you guys are interested in the weekly Monday readings for the weekly forecast, weekly predictions, go ahead and join my Patreon and I'll see you guys there. We're going to have a lot of fun there. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!